It'll be one to go this time by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Next question. Who's got it? Who's got it? Where's he going so fast? Let's go upstairs for next question. Bob Margolis, Yahoo Sports. This is for Kurt. Kurt, you had the new Dodge engine in your car. Can you talk a little bit about that and how it runs and maybe the confidence, it, confidence, the confidence it gives you and uh, the rest of the Dodge teams going into next season? Yeah, it's it's great to be able to uh, throw some R and D research and development at our program right now. Uh, the way that. Uh, that we feel like we've been struggling with power. This has been a good addition for us. Um, can, could we stand some more? Of course. We always want more. And the way that the engine runs, uh, it, it seems to run cooler on water temperature, uh, warmer on oil. The durability is, is defined by every race that we run with the car. And so the more that we get underneath it, the better that we'll be. Uh, I'm just a guy that uh, works as quick as I, I can with getting stuff into the car and trying it out. Right now, I, I don't think we would mind if we finish 13th or 34th in points, 35th. We're just out here trying to find something uh, that's going to make our Miller Lite Dodge fast, make Dodge proud, and make all of our sponsors uh, get, get that warm, fuzzy feeling over the offseason. Other questions upstairs? Go ahead. All right, we're clear upstairs. How about downstairs? Anyone else have a question for either Kurt or Jamie? Got one on the front and then Lee. Go ahead, Mike. Mike Muller in Winston-Salem Journal. I don't know if you guys know it. You probably don't. But ABC cut away from this thing for the last 30 miles and went to America's Funniest Home Videos on the East Coast, which I thought was a little unusual. What would be your reaction to that? This is the NASCAR Championship playoffs, and the network is carrying uh, your game, and all of a sudden it switches to America's Funniest Home Videos. Yeah, I knew about it. Did you get that DSS feed in your car? I, you I did not. I didn't get that memo. No. I mean, I don't, I don't know that, uh, that that I would be the guy to answer that. It seems a little odd to me, as as big as NASCAR is, and as many people as watch the sport. Um, I just, I can't imagine being a race fan and being on the East Coast and trying to watch this, and and uh, and and then going to that. I mean, maybe if the, I mean, obviously if the president was going to talk, but maybe if you know, something big had happened. But I just can't believe that uh, America's Funniest Home Videos would uh, take priority over over us. I mean, I like that show, but I'd rather watch the race, you know. <laughs> Go ahead, Lee. that means I wasn't close enough to him. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Lee. Lee Spencer, Fox Sports. Kurt, you said over the radio that you just got beat by a, a better organization. What does Penske have to do to catch up? I know who scans me every race. My goodness. Um, you know, I, I feel like it's been the same problem that we've had for 35 races this year, and that's uh, the front end doesn't respond to the steering wheel that I'm holding. I feel like we're just tight. Uh, most of the time, it's in the center of the corner. There's times when it's on entry. There's times when it's on exit. Uh, I've got the thing so sideways most of the time, but then the front end's chattering. That's what we have to work on is, is getting our front end to turn, set it all along. There's plenty of things that uh, we could adjust on the car and make it better, but I see all those changes done to the nationwide car. The front splitter's raised up. The nationwide, the new nationwide car. The front end is raised up. They're not running on bump rubbers. They got a rear spoiler back on the car. Uh, there's, there's all the major components that are wrong with the COT have been addressed on the new nationwide car. So that's what I would vote for. But uh, it sounds like we're not getting any changes. It sounds like testing is still up in the air, and it could uh, get dwindled down to hardly any testing due to the economy, and that that'll be tough to catch the competition. Another question, Lee. You got another one? Go ahead. For Mr. McMurray. Um, you playing in golf lately? Yeah, yesterday morning. Anyway, <laughs> can you talk a little bit about you guys lost people off your crew before the start of the chase? You've come back really strong in the last, you know, nine races. I mean, what, what does this do? How does this set things up for next year? I mean, obviously they asked you about getting a new crew chief next year, but you're going to work on the pit crew. You're going to work on everything. I mean, obviously you've shown the last few races that, that you know, all, all five cars can run up in the top ten. Well, it's very frustrating um, 
for me, and I, I mean, I told Robbie Reiser that whenever they called to, not to ask, but to tell me what, what was going on. And, you know, I mean, I, you know, I just, it's easy to talk to Robbie because he was a crew chief at one time. And so any, I just asked him, I'm like, if, if you were the crew chief of this team, you know, what would you say to this? And he's like, well, I, you know, I wouldn't want that. So it, um, it's tough because that has uh, certainly hurt our pit stops. And, you know, at Dover, it, I don't know that it would cost you the win, but it cost us another really good run because we got back in traffic. Um, and, the, you know, the, the way they explained that to me is that if next season, if I'm in the chase and somebody's not on at Roush, that they would let me have, if I needed somebody off that team, they would give it to me, that it was just based on the guys that are in the chase and the guys that aren't. And so I kind of understand that, but at the same time, for me, uh, you know, I'm I'm doing everything I can, and along with everybody on the team, and with Crown Royal and with Irwin, you know, it's I'm like it's it seems like it seems odd that you would take away from them to to help someone else, but I I guess it's because I got the short straw too. So, um, and they've told me that you know part of the this process was trying guys out for next year to get them ready. Um, it's just it's really tough for the two tire changers that they've brought over. Um, they've never worked with any of these any of these guys, and you know some of these pit crews have been together for years. I know the 48 team's been together for a long time, and you you can't expect somebody just to jump in and a few races do better than those teams that have been around for a long time. So hopefully, you know we'll be able to get that worked out. They, you know, we we had bad pit stops at the beginning, but the last two were were really good. I mean, I beat cars out of the pit, so those guys are certainly more than capable of doing it. It's just uh, it's just being maybe a little more consistent, but they did a good job at the end. Are you fighting for one of those four spots at Roush in 2010? Well, I don't know that there's a fight there because, I mean, no one's ever acknowledged to me, hey, this is what the game plan is, or if it's the lowest car in points. No one's ever said that. So I, I and I, I've never asked. Um, I don't, I don't know how that's going to work. Um, so I don't know that there's anything to fight for. Maybe that's already set in stone. You know, I, I, I don't know that. So you guys should ask Jack. He'll probably have an answer. What do you mean four teams? I thought he had Yates and Wood Brothers and everybody else. He's got everybody. Kurt's definitely his favorite guy, too. There's no question. He no loves comment. Kurt Busch. No comment. <laughs> okay, any other questions? Okay, guys, congratulations. You all did a super job this afternoon. Good luck next week at the finale.